Thanks for closing the window on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Listen, it's busy it. times. Cook out lunch time. Wow, I really did not think there'd be this many people. She's just not interested in what we want. <laughs> She's just like yelling. Alright, we're gonna go cook out. <laughs> Wait, I swear to you. He can't get I the can car drive. to work. No, it says M. Okay. He can't get the car to work. I uh, got this. Yeah, there you go. Thank, thank you, Spencer. See? Yeah. I got a real friend in this Thank car. you, Spencer. <laughs> Can you put the window up? We don't need you and all this. I think I'm going on a real adventure. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, a little bumpy bump. Don't want to hit anyone. Let's start. Well, let's start with a couple of questions. Okay. Um. So our first our first question for you has to do with your name. <laughs> <laughs> no. Trey. No. Okay. So first of all, we want to hear a little bit about your name. So. I'm Spencer Brown. Yes. Spencer Brown. Um, What's your real name? My real name is Spencer Bruno, but um, so I, I started, okay, previously I had an old alias Spencer, S-P-E-N-C-A, and Spencer. I was making, okay. making like dubstep and trap and stuff, and I, I started kind of making progressive house on the side for fun. I got in contact with Avicii's manager. Okay, casual. Oh. How did that happen? Um, I actually sent him a Facebook. The first time I, I got in contact, I sent him a Facebook message, please give me one chance, and then I sent him my okay. song was Superstition. That, that was it. Please give me one chance, and then I like left him my Ooh. song Superstition in his uh, inbox, and wow. he didn't respond for three and a half months. Okay. But so. three and a half months later, he says he said um, something like, "This is this is really good, but you're not you're not quite professional sounding. I'd like to develop you over the next couple of years." So, so how did you first get into um, producing your music? Um, in, in maybe, I mean, I, I've been messing with garage band since like fifth grade or sixth grade. Just fifth like, grade? <laughs> yeah, just like kind of messing around, yeah. um, just make, using loops and stuff. And then in, in like eighth grade, I just started making hip hop beats because I got really into hip hop. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I found dubstep in ninth grade. You're also a Duke student. What year are you? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore? Yeah. And trying to get Pratt. I'm in Pratt. Uh, yeah. How do you manage? Is that a mistake know, on your application? It's, it's barely, it's barely manageable, but it, it is. Uh, You're doing it. Yeah. So just, how much time would you say you put into both, like during the weekend? Do you, you um, were just traveling, right? Mm -hmm. um, Where'd so where you go? Uh, I went to LA for the Hollywood Bowl. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah. That's huge. How was that? It was a, uh, it was a great time for sure. It was my first show under the alias, so I can't really, can't really complain about that. Yeah. What was that? Wait, nice what was that like? Video. Tell us about that. It was just. It was it was thrilling. Like this is the first true experience I've gotten where it's it's like an artist experience. Like yeah, I've played shows here and there, like thousand people, whatever. But mm -hmm. this is this is like the Hollywood Bowl. Like this is like an actual crazy venue. Yeah. It was just it was unbelievable. So like, you feel like do you feel like this is what you want to do? You think? Uh, if it works out, yes, I'll definitely. I want to graduate, obviously, but um, right. So what's if, working if, out? Like what's that, that? Like what does that mean to you? Like you go oh, yeah, um, making making equal amount of money as I would um, just like working a normal job a normal job and like obviously I wouldn't do that the rest of my life so that's why I would have a degree like once I'm done with music if for whatever I mean, reason you could. it just like dies down I mean I could if I, if I keep on writing like, the uh, yeah whatever but um, I'll, I'll always have a degree to go back on and that's what my parents always say well let's just take a moment to recognize that we are one at cookout during the daytime <laughs> and two <laughs> there are a number of people here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, can you give me one second? Okay. Uh, can I get a, a chocolate milkshake, please? <laughs> so creative. Can I also have a vanilla milkshake? Sorry? A vanilla one as well. I like, you know. A vanilla? Yes, but separate. Okay, separate. Can I get that off? I like to order? dip the spoon in one and the other. Oh. Can I have a, uh, can I have a corn dog? Okay, what happened to I just ate a lunch? <laughs> <laughs> it's a snack. Okay, can I get a corn dog? Yeah. And and a uh, peanut butter fudge. And a peanut butter fudge. And Reese's milkshake. And Reese's milkshake. You can throw it in the water. Reese's shake, sir, right? What? Second order is three ninety-four. You're the best. Thank you. He was breaking through. <laughs> what you what happened? Your, what it. happened to I your hand? Oh my hand! Uh, I got in a knife fight. Can corn. Can um, can I have ketchup in the second order, please? Yeah, all right. Thanks oh, for closing. They told me not to touch the mic, and I just like smacked it by accident. Thanks for closing the window on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Okay. Enjoy. laughs> did you? 
Are you talking to him? Oh, can I have ketchup? Give me one second. That's a corn dog. What do you need? Ketchup, please. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I got All right, let's, um, Georgia, you know, you've been a great help. Um, I want to know who some of your biggest influences are on your music. Um, probably my biggest influence, um, for, for like the new stuff is definitely Eric Prids, aka Prida, aka Sierra's D, aka oh, wow. Moo, like I same same guy. He has like eight aliases. So that um, must be a thing, Spencer. Uh, Spencer, like, uh, he, as many names you can. I, I I didn't really like I didn't really like yes please. I didn't really like progressive music until I saw him live in 2012, and it, it was just like kind of a life changing experience. It was crazy. You like kind of live two lives, double life. One at school. It's and busy. Like, if I do poorly on a test, or if I right. like just get absolutely just brutally ripped apart on a song I spent a month on, mm -hmm. I just instead of just like feeling bad about it or whatever, like I immediately like I have to work.